Hello and welcome to More Things. I'm Judy Trent. Now this is a Summer Olympics year, so we are going to get in an Olympic frame of mind. And what we're going to do is drop in on the, some of the competitive teams that we have right here at the Park District. Who knows, some of these people may be in the Olympics in 10 years? I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to meet the, uh, the head coach of the Barracudas swim team and find out all about those teams. here with Ryan Reeves. He is the head coach of the Barracuda swim team. So I'm going to depend on him knowing everything I need to know. <laughs> tell me. Now, the, I, I do understand there's four levels, right? So tell me what those are. Correct. So we're actually split into two bigger groups. Um, our, our beginning group, we call our AAU team, and that's split amongst the beginners, the intermediate, and the advanced groups. Um, those groups are usually determined by the, the level of the swimmers based on um, their, their knowledge of swimming, technique, and then overall skill and ability. And this is these, these levels are usually the levels that we're going to take after they make it through all the levels of swim lessons that you can usually take through the park district as well. The second half, the second bigger side is going to be our Team USA, and these are all our elite swimmers. So these swimmers have been swimming for the majority of their lives at a very young age and have excelled through not only swim lessons, but the AAU levels as well. Um, and have had a lot of, uh, put a lot of time and effort and usually do swimming outside of, of the park district and swim with other clubs as well. Okay, maybe the high schools or even college level, or are they younger or older than that? Or? Um, the ages span anywhere from eight years old through 18 years old. So um, the, the skill level is what determines you being on Team USA. Um, I do have high schoolers that come in and swim with me in the off season just to get ready for their high school seasons that are coming up. And then I have everyone in between of those younger ages that are just looking to get better and hopefully find themselves one day up at, at high school or collegiate level too. So do you sort of spot kids during the, the uh, four levels of swim lessons to say, you know, why don't you go out for the team? Or um, I don't usually spot for the swim lessons. Um, where it kind of happens is um, you, you have to have a, um, a want or a will or a drive to want to join swimming at a competitive nature. So, um, you know, it's never, um, you know, the, the greatest idea to force the child into a competitive situation because that kind of takes the fun out of it sometimes. So I'm looking to start at the beginner levels um, try to get them to advance up to the intermediate and so on and so forth until we can eventually hopefully get them up into that USA level as well. So we're looking to pull from those children that are here to compete and want to be here to win and, and have fun at the same time. How do you determine um, you know, when they're ready to go up a level. You know, when we see that they are um, either leading the lanes or they're kind of uh, progressing quicker than, than all their, you know, their, their other teammates in that same level, and, and we just can't challenge them enough without separating them too far from the other kids in that level, we think that's a time to try to you know, try it out. We do have um, a, a grading rubric that we can use to put them through certain uh, practice sessions just to kind of evaluate where they should be and what level they should be in. And this, actually, this is a pretty big commitment because I saw in your schedule they have practices in the morning and in the evenings, right? Yep, yeah, we, we practice twice a day, Monday through Friday. Um, we have morning sessions that uh, start at 6, uh, 6 a.m. and we're uh, here till 9 a.m. with all groups. Um, and then we also come back at night and do a, um, a 5.30 to 8.30 uh, p.m. sessions as well. And do you do this in the wintertime, like at Waterworks, or? We actually use uh, the local high schools. So we bounce around wherever we can get the most pool time between Hoffman High School, Schaumburg, and Conant High Schools. That's pretty cool. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm kind of, I've been watching the beginners, and I'm kind of impressed. I don't think I could swim that long for sure. So I'm eager to see what the advanced and the USA teams are like. I think... I think we've got some future Olympians. What do you think? I think there's some that, are, that definitely have potential and they're, they're the right place to take that next step. All right, let's see. We are here with the coaches for the beginners team, and that's Sarah and Sam. And uh, what is your experience with swim teams? Well, I've swam with Barracudas for the past three years, and I swam two years at Kona, and I swim at Carroll University currently. I swam all four years in high school, and when I was younger, I used to be on the Barracuda team too. All right, so we have some experienced swimmers. That's good to get them started. Um, it, 
are these a certain age group of kids or how do the beginners begin? It, it's, it's based on skill and also at a certain age that they can enter at. Um, they have to first be able to swim all four strokes and meet at a certain level for skill wise. Do they have to try out? Um, they have to go through all the levels of swim practice and then they join the team. Mm -hmm. So they might get spotted in a, in a, just a swim lesson and maybe someone would suggest you ought to go out for the swim team? Yeah, there's different levels. So usually when you complete it, they put you on the swim team and okay. yeah. Okay. Now when they come, I'm, I've been watching the, uh, the beginners here and they are swimming laps right now. Do you have them doing a certain stroke or how's this work? Well, right now they're warming up, so they're doing freestyle and kicking, so just to get their muscles loose and relax. Okay. And they actually compete when we have meets, right? Yes, yes they do. do. All yeah. right. How do you know what event they should go in? Uh, normally whatever they're the strongest at, so if a kid displays that he's really, really good at swimming butterfly, then we might just put them in butterfly, or if they're good at long distance, we'll put them in long distance. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. All right. Well, we're going to take a look at the beginners now and see how they're doing, and maybe a few of them will like to talk to us. We're getting ready for the Olympics, and we're thinking that these kids are going to be in the Olympics. I think so. All right. All right. I have two USA team members with me right now, which I'm very impressed with. This is Patrick and this is Stephanie. So how long have you been swimming? I've been swimming for about six years now. Yeah. And Anne, how about you, Patrick? Well, I've been swimming since uh, I've been to a first hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> um, but have you been on the team before? No, this is my first year on the team. All right. And this is my you? second year. Okay. So you've competed before? Yes. How, what are the meets like? Are they kind of exciting? Yeah, they're kind of exciting and, yeah. well, a bit time spending. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is time consuming, that's true. And so you'll be coming up on your first meet maybe I think next week? No, I was at a meet, uh, the one in the winter season. Oh, so I forgot yeah. about the winter season. Yeah. Oh, okay, all right. And what events do you do? Um, I really like the 50 freestyle okay. and the 100 breaststroke. Um, pretty much a lot, like I really like freestyle and breaststroke, they're my best strokes. Okay, good. And how about you, Patrick? Well, I usually do 100 back and uh, 50 free. Okay, now here's a big question. Are you going to watch the Olympics this summer? Yeah. Yes. And are you? do you know who you're going to be rooting for? Well, I'm assuming you're going to root for the USA, but do you know any particular swimmers that you want to watch? Or Missy Franklin. Oh, right. Yeah, I remember her from last time. How about you? Uh, just Michael Phelps. Michael Phelps. Oh, I'm hoping he's good this year. Ryan Lochte is supposed to be pretty good, yeah. too. Yeah, right. Oh, I'm getting excited for the Olympics. Are you guys excited? Very All right. Well, and I think maybe in 10 years we'll be seeing you, too. <laughs> I think so. Go! Get ready for a thrilling underwater adventure at the Schomburg Park District's indoor water park, The Waterworks. With a drop slide, two water slides, a rapid water channel, a diving pool, and a water playground, The Waterworks is the place to be for splashing your day away. Don't worry, The Waterworks is parent friendly too. The indoor water park has a family changing room, nursery, swim lessons, aerobics classes, a grill, and it's available for parties. The Waterworks is located inside the Community Recreation Center at 505 North Spring and Scoop Road. Call 847-490-2505 or visit www.parkfund.com today.
Well, we're continuing with our Olympic theme, and we've moved over to the Sports Center where we're going to join another group of teams that are working on one of the sports that is a competitive sport in the Olympics. Gymnastics, that's a biggie. And we have Joanne Carpenter, come on in Joanne. <laughs> Hi, with us she is the gymnastics coordinator, right? Hi Joanne. Hi, how are you? Good. Um, if you could explain how this works now, um, I'm looking at the girls that are here right now, what age group or what level or how's that work? Right now you are looking at our pre-team and level two and level three girls. Um, in order to be on our team, you have to go through our rec programs, and then we see that there's potential, and then we pick you out, and you try out for the team. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. And then these girls are, will move, and, and it, it happens to just be girls, but boys are also invited. Um, these girls would supposedly move up to another level, and you have a, a higher level, right? So for the summer, they are given a set of evaluations, and then they are working those skills to compete that level for the season coming up. So yes, they can move up. We have right now level twos through level eights competing at, in our program right now. And do those levels sort of go by ages, or do they no. tend to? No, you just have to be five years old to compete. So a five-year-old, I mean, I've seen it, a five-year-old can be a level four. So it's not necessarily starting at level two. Okay. And what events do you, do you compete in? We do floor, bar, vaults, and beam. Okay. All right. And when you're doing beam or floor, I, I, those require some choreography. So who does that? Um, we have our coaches. Um, some of them, which helps us, are dancers and former gymnasts. So that helps with choreography as well. Okay. But I think in the competition, they all have to do the same one? Correct. So from levels two to level five, everyone has a set choreography that, um, that's, around the, that's all across the board. Um, level six and up, which they consider optionals, that's when they, get, they can choreograph their own routine and pick their own music. And that's exciting for them. Yeah, yeah I bet it is. <laughs> now, the uh, higher groups, are some of those kids um, also competing at their high school level? No, so here we only technically go up to eighth grade. They can still stay here if they do not compete in their high school. But since we are, we feed into Hoffman, Schomburg, and Conant, which have phenomenal um, high school teams, they're ready for that. That's what our goal is to prepare them for high school. But some of the private schools, um, like Viter and um, I think Andrews, they don't have a gymnastics team. So some, we actually do have one girl that's actually going to stay with us while she's in high school. So, who do you compete against? Um, we do compete against other park districts and private gyms. So even though we're not in the gym as long as the private gyms, we still compete against them and we do a pretty good job. I just okay. them our trophies. Yeah, yeah I, I noticed that. We'll have to get a good close-up of those trophies over there. Um, now at this, this group, this level, they compete on all the yes. apparatus, right? Actually all my teams that compete here competes all of them, um, all events. Um, in high school that'll be different. Their coaches get to tell them what they feel they're good at but there are a few girls that do compete all around in high school. Okay. All right. Oh, okay. Well, I'm, I'm eager to see what they do. And then a little later, we'll be looking at the, the next level up. Cool. I'm here with Alexis Potterack, who is the head coach for the gymnastics program. Now, are you the head coach for this level and the other level yes. too? Mm -hmm. And I'm the main coach for optionals, which is level six, seven, and eight. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. And are you currently in school or are you out of school? I'm not a good judge of age. <laughs> sorry. I'm 21 and I go to Harper. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you compete when you were in high school? Yeah. Yeah. For uh, two years, and then I went over to cheerleading. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, they're they're related. Yeah. <laughs> That's good. Oh, that this is this is uh, fascinating to me. Um, did you specialize in one particular apparatus when you were? Yeah, Doing so it? my favorite was bars, but I was the best on beam. So um, in high school, I competed beam and vault. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and at that point, you can do your own choreography for the beam, or mm -hmm. does someone help you? Well, I'm not good with the dance portion, so someone made it up, but I told them what I wanted, and I picked my music, which is really cool. Uh -huh. Pick anything that's like in trend at that time. Yeah. Picking music apparently is a big thing, so <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess that. So I'm not going to keep you, but I, I want to thank you for stopping and talking to me for a few minutes. And uh, we are very much enjoying, and I, I'm very impressed with this level. <laughs> kind of can't wait to see what the next level up is like. <laughs> I want you to meet Jordan Calvis, who is uh, obviously one of the coaches, but I'm told that you are principally responsible for a lot of the choreography, is that right? Yes, I help a lot of the girls, um, myself and then another coach, we help a lot of the girls on a lot of their dance aspects of all their floor routines. Okay. And I understand that that's your experience. You were a gymnast and a dancer as well. Where did you do that? Um, I did gymnastics at Gymkhana. It's, uh, it's a local private gym, and then I danced at a place called Rise Dance Center. That's right here in Schaumburg. And then I went to school at Western Michigan University and got my BFA in dance. Oh, okay. Yep. All right. Are you? What are you going to do with that? <laughs> um, I plan to move to New York in a couple months, okay. and then I'd like to pursue uh, Broadway and a bunch of various other dance companies. Oh, maybe I'll see you some sometime on Broadway. Right. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, now, do you work with this this level here? Don't don't come out of the camera. Um, this level and the older level as well. Um, yeah, I work with just a wide variety of everyone. Sometimes we work with like more like three-year-olds, so we call it like our top classes. And then usually, um, as of this summer, this is the oldest that I'll teach. I usually, I don't teach the um, older kids, all the optional kids I used to. But this summer, yeah, these are the oldest kids that we teach. So you are involved with the teams, but you also are involved with the actual classes? Yep, yep. Oh, okay. I'm involved with it all. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, that's good. Okay, I, I did want you to meet Jordan because uh, he was certainly very involved with the floor exercises. And, and so they give you a, um, a routine that the girls have to, they have to all do the same routine. Um, and yeah. so you go learn the routine and then teach them? Yeah, at the level that they're at now, they have an already pre-choreographed routine. That's, for, that's just like statewide. It's just like the normal like level three, level four routines. And then once they get closer to the um, higher level, like the option, then they get to have their own routines which sometimes I'll choreograph from like girls in the past but right now yeah we'll just we'll learn a routine and then we'll teach it to them yeah. and that comes down from the AAU yep. is that right okay all right anyway I wanted you to meet Jordan and uh, it's been a pleasure thank you Well, I've pulled a few of the girls out of line because I, I need them to explain to me what it is that they're doing on that. That's, that's the low bar? The hot, what is that? Low bar. low bar. Okay, who wants to explain? I did hear the word kip. What's the kip? Um, so a kip is like what Amy's doing. It's like a straddle, and then you, have to, you cast in a straddle, and then you bring your legs up to the bar, and then you have to like pull up your pants. Like you're pretending to pull up your pants. When you're um, going up back to the bar from like this to that. Great. Okay. Anybody want to add anything to that? Well, how, how do, do you know how to go from that bar to that big bar? How do, yeah, that's you do. A straddle. That's, that's a straddle on. Uh, where then a squat on? Yeah, that. Um, so you just you cast really big and really high and then you put both feet on the bar at the same time and let go of your hands and jump to the high bar. Oh my then, gosh. Where do you guys get the bravery to do this, the courage? <laughs> I don't know. Now, do you watch the real Olympics? Yes. Yes. Who's your favorite gymnast? Does anybody have a favorite? Um, Gabby Douglas. Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Gabby won all around last time, right? Okay. Now, is she going to compete this year? Do you know? We don't know. All right. Well, then we're going to have to watch and see, right? Okay. Well, I'm going to be thinking about you girls when I watch them because who knows? In a few years, I could be watching them, right? Who knows? Well, I don't know about you, but I'm uh, all ready for the Olympics to come around, and I'm still kind of hoping that maybe we'll see one of these young people in, in the Olympics in the future. Uh, I, I, I'm very impressed with the swim teams and the gymnastics teams and those programs. I also want to remind you, though, that there's classes in all different levels of classes for swimming and gymnastics, and of course all sports. Um, but if you want to go a little farther, the competitive teams are the way to go. So I, I'm very impressed with what I've seen. I hope you enjoyed it. I want to thank you for watching again, as usual, and we'll see you next time.